What are you doing out here? I am out here protesting the fact that uh, I cannot get in the water by myself, stay away from people, enjoy the ocean, surf, dive, and swim. So what are you protest? I mean, I'm protesting? protesting the fact that for one, the government is uh, our local governments are not allowing us to enjoy the things we like to do, but are allowing other people like people behind me uh, walk the streets, jog, bike, and be uh, within close proximity to each other, which is dangerous. But they won't let you go out and catch a wave. No, I can't go catch a wave. No, that's illegal. And I what, will get a thousand dollar fine or go to jail. And what have your friends in the surfing community have been saying? Uh, well, majority of my friends think it's a complete load of uh, horse shit. Excuse my language, but then I've seen a lot of people in the surf community that are just laying down and taking it, and they don't think it's a big deal. Just getting their rights stripped of them. Are you surprised that the surfing community is just falling back and just waiting? Uh, yeah, I'm very surprised. I think if it was the surf community of years ago, they would be like rock and roll and you know screw this. But nowadays, there's just a bunch. You know, it's it's lame, and everybody's just no oh, whatever. You know, I just I won't surf for a couple weeks or a couple months. Uh, Clearly, you don't like to surf that much if that's your MO. Are you surprised that people are not defying this and just going out there anyways and catching waves? Uh, well, that was for at first happening, but, you know, I'm not going out because if I get hit with $1,000, that's, uh, you know, that I, I, I can't work right now. I can't work. I can't surf. I can't do much. So I don't want to lose $1,000. So how long are you going to ride this thing out? Uh, I'll be out here, you know, weather's supposed to be crappy, but hey, weather's good. I don't, I can't work, I can't surf. Might as well bitch about it. I mean, are you going to go to another city that has a beach open? Oh, well, yes, I might go to, you know, far northern California, Oregon, uh, where I can surf. You can't go to Mexico, you'll get yanked out of the water there. Uh, so we're on the same level as Mexico. Oh, so Mexico has the waters closed also. Yeah, my friend was telling me he saw a video of people getting yanked out of the water there. I don't want to go to Mexican jail. <laughs> so, and, and you hear Ogan is, is open for business? The, no, the but it's just far more sparsely oh. populated. Uh, I highly doubt they're monitoring the beaches like they would here in Southern California. Especially San Diego, we have zero beaches open right now. Zero. Did you ever think you would see that? Uh, no, I did not think it would get to the point it did. And uh, also a little ammunition, hopefully you air this. Guy just came by. There were 8,000 travelers per day from Wuhan or mainland China since mid-November when this started. Okay, so uh, it's been here for a while. This is completely, in my opinion, over-exaggerated. And uh, regardless, this is not gonna help the situation. It's gonna make people depressed. It's gonna make people not know what to do. I'm on the side of the road. I've never even protested before. I'm losing my mind. Let me go surfing. Anything else? Uh, yeah, wait, really quick. This is Tommy's Can't Surf right here. And then let me grab my other one. Because this is ridiculous. This is Kim Prather is a kook. Kim Prather is a local to Scripps Oceanic uh, Institute. She said that through water bubbles and sea breeze, COVID-19 can be spread with zero proof or anything. That's a hypothesis. That is not a proven scientific statement and the city is running with it as sci science. It's not science. Damn plant, throw that on for me. I love you.